Yeah, hello again. In this video, we're going to cover how to open up background maps in uh, QGIS. In this case, we're going to use a plugin called Open Lines. So, we're going to have a look at that. So, to actually get there, of course, you need to start up your QGIS application uh, and then um, just go up to the toolbar up the top uh, and click on plugins. Uh, if you haven't already, you have to install the Open Layers plugin. Um, just click on manage and install. And then to the left here, just click on get more. And then you can search for it or you can just go and look for it down here. Uh, then click just on the um, plugin that you want to install and just click on install plugin. Uh, I have already installed this so you can go ahead and you can see okay. I'll just go and look for it and then uh, you can see there that I've got the open lace plugin um, already installed. So I'm just going to close this and then go back to plugins and then you can see that I have got the open lace plugin in here. Um, this will give me a list of all the background layers that I can add. So you can see we got Google, we got OpenStreetMap, um, we got Yahoo, Bing, uh, and Apple, and, and Ads Diamond as well. Um, I'm not too familiar with that, but yeah. So just be aware if you're using any of the Google or Bing, Bing Map layers and Yahoo and those ones that if you're going to print them off or, or do some work with them, that they have some uh, licensing attached to them. So please just go and have a look at the websites and, and and read up on those. So in this case, I'm actually going to use OpenStreetMap because that's a free service. So just uh, going to click on Add OpenStreetMap. Just works the same for all of these these layers. So I'm just going to wait for this to, to open up. Sometimes we need to just move the screen a little bit across to to get this OpenStreetMap to open up. If you have a look at the left hand side you can see that OpenStreetMap has appeared on the left hand side so it means that it has opened up. So I'm just going to use the pan map hand here and just move this across a little bit and get it to refresh. So now you can see that it actually has opened up um, be behind the, the existing data. So it makes a little bit more context to your data if you, you're mapping something or you're using this in the field or you just want to view the data on top of some, some background layer. It's good good for that. If you want to print this off or use this uh, in some manner, just please include the OpenStreetMap um, description down on the right hand side to just acknowledge that you have used their, their map service. So yeah, and also just to mention at the very end, um, just to make sure that you have the um, the layer uh, located all the way down the bottom. And also, if you can't see this layer, that you use the hand toggle above. And also, if you have other data that covers this layer, you won't be able to see this as well. So yeah, that's everything that you need to know about this. Alright, thank you very much for watching.